What's up guys? I just wanted to show you guys my uh, setup so far for living in my car, camping in my car. Got some cool products and uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys the setup. I have a 2020 Kia Sportage, so quite a small car. Um, so I have to go pretty lightweight and pretty minimal to be able to camp out of it or live out of it for an extended period of time. But I've got some really cool gear that uh, I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go through it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, Walmart parking lot camp out. I'm going to try to sleep at a hospital and I'm going to try to sleep at the airport. And then possibly I'll do some videos on stealth camping if you guys want to see that type of thing. Um, let me see. I can't see the chat here. Let me rotate. Maybe I can... Oh, it says rotation's locked. Dang it, I can't see the chat. Oh, there we go. What's up, Wayne? Next year, you're going to set up my O2 Suburban with the camp out setup. Well, yeah, man, watch my setup because you know what little car I got. And uh, it's going to be perfect for camping, living, going on trips. So, yeah, I got a 2020 Sportage small car, subcompact SUV. So... One of the things you gotta have is a fridge. I showed you guys the review of the Set Power uh, fridge freezer that I had, but it was a little bit big. It took up a lot of space. It was a 45 quart. I think this is more like a, um, not sure what size this is, but it's from Set Power. It's a, it's a badass little fridge. You see it's got the handles and uh, this one is not a dual zone. It's a single zone but you can set it up as a fridge or a freezer, which is cool. And you can see, got the kids playing out here. You can see that it's uh, nice and small, so it's gonna work really well in this setup. Uh, I've got my fan, which I can hook up to my battery bank. Gotta have a fan when I sleep. Um, let's see, I got my mattress. You guys have seen this, if you wanna see this, this is a Luno mattress. Basically, if I put my two seats down, this Luno mattress will go the entire back of my car and make like a full like almost twin size mattress but what's really cool about this uh mattress is that you it can also be folded in half and i can inflate one side so that i can just put this seat down on the right here and i can um i can just use it on half so that i can have my other gear over here so i'm going to be doing a video on that but i'm going to show you guys some of the other gear i got some of the organization i got um, which is really cool. I picked up this little stove. This is just a little um, mini gas stove. What's up, Tom? Yeah, that's cool. Just this little mini gas stove. This thing's going to be work sweet. It works off the little butane canisters, or you can use, um, it has the hose in here to be able to work with uh, just your camping propane. So the, the, the propane that I use uh, for camping, it'll work with this little stove. I've got a little table too that I can set up <clears throat> Which is nice and again, I'm trying to keep everything minimal. You guys know me. I like ultra light stuff. I like minimal stuff um, So that's my stove. I also got sent from Luno. I had the mattress, but they sent me out um, These window screen or this fitted mattress sheet so it's actually a fitted mattress sheet that fits the whole mattress in the back. But again, when I'm just by myself, I have gear on this side of the car. And if you guys have watched any like living in the car videos or camping in the car videos, usually people have their stuff like on this side and then they have their bedding on this side. Now I'm not planning on any raised platforms. I'm not planning on doing anything, any modifications to the car. Um, some people take their seats out, but with this setup, I don't have to s take my seats out at all. I can fold my seats down. This mattress goes on this side, and then all my gear can go on that side. Now, I am going to plan on getting, because um, I do have the roof racks, I'm going to plan on getting an awning that comes off to the side. So you guys can see it's raining right now, but I'm going to put an awning off to the side so that I can be camped, get in and out of my vehicle, for, you know, for example, and uh, not get wet. And then on the other side, I think I'm going to put a cargo box. So, you know, to store sleeping bags, clothes, anything else, food, whatever that I don't want to have in the vehicle, I can store that stuff in the, uh, 
the cargo box, which is cool. But you can see that my whole setup so far fits in the tailgate of my car with plenty of room to spare. I don't have food in here, I don't have water in here, and I don't have my clothes in here. But other than that, this has everything I need to do to go anywhere in camp. So I got this fitted mattress sheet. It fits the entire mattress, or as I said, I fold it in half and you can use it in half. So that's cool. They also sent me these window screens, which are really sweet. Basically, these are just bug nets that go over the entire um, window. So they, um, you can roll down your window and you can still have a bug-free setup. Now, we're going into winter here. It's starting to rain pretty hard here. We're going into winter here, so I don't know how much we'll, I'll have my windows cracked. A lot of people put those vent visors on so that you, know, you can keep the rain out and still have your window cracked. I may eventually get those. And another thing that I want to get is those um, Reflectix for the windows. My back windows are tinted pretty good, and my back hatchback is tinted pretty good. But I definitely want to um, get those Reflectix that I can put in these windows to not only insulate, keep it a little bit warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, but also block everything out so nobody can see in, nobody can see what I'm doing. Um, usually I'll have a sleeping bag in here. I got this um, quilt, which uh, I can put on the mattress. I got a little camping chair here, and I got my carbon monoxide detector. Um, so that, you know, when you're sleeping in the car, obviously you want to be able to, uh, you don't want to, uh, die of carbon monoxide poisoning. So I got that. Um, and then I just picked up these Sidio crates, a company called Sidio Gear, that makes these crates. And these crates are freaking sweet. Um, I got two of them. In the top one, I have, like, my kitchen and cooking gear. And then the bottom one, I have, like, electronics and lanterns and stuff. I can show you guys how that's organized. So these things have these lids on them, which are really sweet. It makes it for a tray up top. So you could use this as like a cutting board. You could use it just as a tray. And then they just snap in um, to the box. And as, as you can see, these boxes are stackable too, which is really cool. You can get these in all different color combinations. Um, so then you just press here and the lid comes off. Again, this one is my camp cooking uh, type setup here. So I've got uh, a bunch of products in here. I've got two of these GSI mugs. And what I really like about these is not only do they work great as cups, they're super duper lightweight. There's no weight to these at all. They do keep your drinks pretty warm, but if you pop out the uh, inside, it's also doubles as a um, measuring cup. So like if you're doing, let's say you're doing rice sides or you're you know cooking a meal or something and you need to know how much water to put in, this doubles as a measuring cup, so I don't have to have extra measuring cups, you know, because I'm all about things that work for dual purpose. You can see there's a divider in here, and you can see that there's a bunch of different um, tabs in here. So you can basically put these dividers anywhere you want in these boxes to be able to divide up your gear, to be able to put your gear where you want it. They got these little pull tabs that pull, and you can pull them out. And then in the bottom here, there's actually a mat, which is cool. It keeps your stuff from sliding around. Now, I've got this pretty well organized so that it doesn't slide around in my car, but the mats are nice because it keeps everything clean, um, keeps, you know, any spills contained, things like that. So on this side, I have um, my pot set up. This is a Sea to Summit uh, Alpha pot set. Really, really cool pot set up here so the handle swings out and locks. So I've got the larger pot, and then I've got a smaller pot inside. So I have two pots here. It actually has a strainer on the lid, which is really cool. So if I'm doing pasta, for example, spaghetti, for example, I can use that as a strainer. I don't have to have a secondary strainer. So again, you want to get items that are dual purpose, you know, so that you don't have to have all this extra clutter. I've watched a ton of videos on car camping, car living, and um, people just have too much crap and I, I just can't have too much crap in this small of a car yeah if i had a truck it would work great i could bring whatever i wanted but i'm really trying to get the minimal the smallest type you know stuff that's going to function well for me this fridge for example hook it up to my battery my portable battery um bank and it runs all day long it'll probably run for like four or five days on its eco mode and keep it in fridge mode so keep all my drinks cool you know any kind of like chicken or meat that you had. If you wanted to freeze that stuff, you could turn it into freezer mode. Now my other one, if I did want to use a freezer fridge, I could take my other fridge that has dual zone to it. Again, this one's just single zone, but it's nice and small, nice and compact, super quiet. 
Um, so then on this other side here, I have my utensils bag, and this is just from Fox Light Gear. They're on Etsy. They make great stuff. Just a little um, mesh bag here. And then in here, I have, let me try to open this one-handed here. Get down on it. All right. In here, I have all my utensils. So I have like a lighter. I have uh, a little like chef type uh, knife in here. I've got a spatula. I've got some camp soap um, that works for washing dishes as well. I've got uh, some sporks and forks and spoons and stuff in here. I've got some uh, washcloths in here. I've got the two spoons for my um, UCO bowls that I'll show you in a minute. So I've got some washcloths in here. Um, just real minimal stuff that works really, really well. And I can keep all that utensil stuff together in this bag. And then again, I've organized it so that everything fits really nice and easily. You can pop that out. Below that, I've got just this little Lunatec spray bottle. This not only works as a drink bottle, it also works as a measuring device. So you have measurements, but then you can pump this thing up and you can um, spray. So it works really good. You know, if you're spraying off, if I have to spray out my pans or something, you know, washing them, I can actually put some of that camp soap in here and shake it up, get a nice sudsy solution. And I can spray off all the rem remnants of my uh, food, which is really cool. So I can keep that stuff nice and clean. Then I have just a little camp towel here, a little pack towel. Um, I've got a couple just, uh, you know, drink insulator type things that people have sent me. Got a sponge in here. And then I have my two um, uh, bowls or plates, whatever you want to call them. These are from uh, UCO. These are awesome because they're not only packable, you know, they're small, they're, they're durable, lightweight, but they also double as not only a... Um, bowl so i have an uh, you know a plate slash bowl to eat out of you can eat out of the other side as a plate slash bowl but then you can see this little um rubber gasket here so let's say i made some stir fry or something ate half of it and i still got some left well i can just pop that on there it seals it and then i can pop it right in my fridge and you know have leftovers the next day no problem so i uh, actually i bought two of those because they stack really well in here so basically I have enough for me for a couple days with the pots, pans, um, that. I do have a cast iron pan too that I don't have in here um, that I'll show you in the full video when I do an actual camp out. Um, but uh, yeah, these crates work really good. So I just put that in there, put that down there, put my sponge and my stuff down there, put my uh, little camp towel down in there and then put my utensils right here so this pretty much makes it pretty much makes it my entire camp kitchen all in one minus the stove that i have over here and then minus the table so i have a little pop-out table that i can use for that so let me pop off this uh, and then as i mentioned i can just take that that bowl and plate seal it up like a tupperware pop it in my fridge and then i'm good to go so let me pop this uh pop this container off here i'll show you what i got in the next one um back here is my power bank this thing works really well it's just a little uh aki power bank um i can plug in any devices to this sorry my girls are going crazy it's got the dc input so i can hook my fridge into this dc input and uh yeah happy veterans day i can plug my um fridge into this and keep it running for for days it literally um, when the fridge runs, it's running about 40 watts, takes down a couple percentage, but once this thing is cooled down to about 40 degrees, which is about what you'd keep your fridge at, um, this thing runs forever. Um, and then I can charge this up as I'm driving down the road uh, with uh, my little inverter that I'll show you in a moment here. Let's take a look at my little uh, electronics box. Again, another Sidio crate here. So in here, I have all the AC adapters that I need. I've got the AC adapter for my power bank. I've got the adapter for my fridge. Um, I've got the adapter for my fan. I've got my solar panel uh, connections in here. And then I have this little inverter that I got off Amazon. Um, this I can plug into the DC in my car and basically have, you know, this powering my power bank as I drive down the road. So I have a little, um, you know, I have a little 12 volt there. So this thing can plug right into that. And uh, then I can take my power bank here, 
I can set that down there. And as I'm driving down the road, that can be powering that up. Um, so I'm good to go with power when I get to camp for at least a few days. So I have some other odds and ends in here. And then I just have my lighting. So I have a little, um, these little string lights. These are just like little LED lights. I've got a little inflatable lantern that's also solar power, which is cool. You can hang this out at camp and it'll charge itself. Same with this. This is like little string lights. Um, if you pop this open, see if I can spin it here. If you spin it open, there's little string lights that come out. And so you got little string lights. And then I have just this, um, just this camp lantern. So that's kind of all my lighting um, stuff in here. See if I can set you down a minute. Pop that down in here. And I love these crates, man. You can just organize everything. So then I also have a solar panel. Um, let's see, that's right here. Just my foldable um, Aki solar panel. This I can put up on the roof during the day if it's sunny out. And this will also charge my power bank. So if I'm not moving, if I'm at camp, this thing will keep my power bank charged so that I can charge all my other devices, run my lights, um, run my uh, fridge, you know, all day long, pretty much indefinitely with that thing. And uh, keep my food nice and cold, drinks nice and cold. And so that's kind of the setup. So, I mean, what I would do to set this up is basically just fold down I really only have to fold down the one seat. So this seat would fold down here and then my mattress would lay out here. And then really I could keep that seat for like working during the day. Let's say I want to be on my laptop or something. I could work during the day, but with my mattress spread out right here and that chair or that chair folded down as well, I can put all my gear on this side um, and be real comfortable. And you guys will see that again in the video. That I'm gonna do on this the first time I take this out and go car camping with this whole setup so I'm really excited about it um, got some cool gear that I think is nice and minimal that's gonna work for me um, I thought about heat because we are coming into the winter here in Michigan but I think I'm gonna get just a, a 12 volt heated blanket a lot of people sit, say that those work really well people use a hair dryer they use a ceramic heater but for me, I'm not going to run a ceramic heater and a hair dryer just doesn't seem, you know, it seems like it would take a lot of energy. Whereas a heated blanket, I can plug that right into my power bank and keep that thing running all night and, you know, stay nice and warm. Plus I have a zero degree sleeping bag. So again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the only things that I could see that I would want to um, get in addition to this stuff is definitely want to get the screens for the windows or the reflectix for the windows so I can black those out so I can pretty much stealth camp anywhere. And then on the top, I wanna get a cargo box to keep, you know, clothing, to keep extra sleeping bags, blankets, you know, any of this stuff when I'm not using it, my camp table, my camp chairs, anything like that I could keep up in the cargo box. And then I wanna get one of those uh, rack mountable um, awnings that comes out so that at camp I can have like a nice awning. It's raining right now. So if, you know, if I was getting in and out of my car, which I'd get in and out of this side because my sleeping bed or my sleep system would be right there. You know, I want to have a nice, you know, awning over this so that I could take my shoes off. I could change, I could do whatever I wanted. Plus I could set my table out for cooking, you know, next to my car and have that awning. So just wanted to show you guys a pretty quick overview of, um, you know, the gear that I got so far that I'm going to go ahead and use, do videos on. And uh, just wanted you guys to check that out. I've watched a ton of videos online of car camping, car living, and I've gotten a lot of great tips. And so this is kind of what I'm starting off with and we'll kind of go from there. So hopefully you guys will tune into those videos. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification bell. And uh, I'll check you guys out later.